Hello crafters, today is the second day of my Christmas card series 2017 and today I'm going to be making this card but first I'm going to show you how I made this one and this is slightly different, I have some different stamps and I'm just going to be showing you how I made this effect, it's a really nice pearlized effect and for this I actually used um, this Diams. This is a French product, but it's fabric paint, so you can always use this on the cards I'm going to be showing you, but that's why I used for this card, and I used holly and red for it. So now on to the main card of the day. I'm going to be using this old um, Creative Stamping Winter Garden set. I'll have it carded, I'll have the video carded here. I'm just going to be stamping that down onto my cardstock with some embossing ink. So I'm just going to stamp it down twice to make sure I get a very good impression. And then I'm going to um, take out my embossing powder. I'm using Ducraft's Gold Embossing Powder today. I'm just going to emboss that. So this is a wreath, but it's not really a Christmas wreath. It's more of a um, sparse spring wreath. But I really wanted to kind of densen it up a bit, so I used um, some kind of filler images from another um, set, I'll have that carded as well if I can. And I'm just going to stamp those in, and it was kind of hard to see, honestly, but because like you couldn't see the ink, and if I um, stamped two on top of one on top of the other, I just left it like that, honestly. It really didn't show that much, so I'm just going to continue doing that, and I was using a bit of holly and two leaves. So I'm just going to continue that and then I'm going to put my embossing powder onto that and emboss it again. So now I'm going to be coloring in my wreath and at first I was going to use Ducraft's Artis watercolor markers but it really didn't give a nice effect, it only colored in the paper and I found out that alcohol markers, I'm using Tiger Twin markers actually coloring the embossing powder as well so that's um, a very good handy tip I guess, I just found that out and I was very happy. So I just coloured um, most of my leaves in with those, actually I coloured them all in and I'm just using different shades of markers and yeah. So now I'm going to fill in my 3D parts on this wreath and I have coloured all of the holly and the leaves in with um, the Twilight Twin markers, those were the colours and I'm using stickles for the um, 3D parts of the leaves and the holly and I only decided to do a few of them just so I wouldn't be using all my stickles up because it's not that cheap and um, so yeah, so I need to do I think three and three or something like that, I don't know. I'm using holly for, this is the green colour, and Xmas red is the red colour of the stickles. And I'm just going to fill those in on top of the embossing powder. And I think I coloured in the leaves underneath that I put the stickles on top, just so I'd get good coverage. And I also tapped it to make sure it was all um, flat. So yeah. So that's my card for today. Please like, subscribe and comment down below if you've made this card and what would you do differently. Anyway, bye!